Yo, what's cracking, everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here. So, in Forza Horizon 5, Playground Games have stated in one of their Let's Go episode live streams that more customizations will be in the game. To what extent at this moment is still unknown. However, I'm sure by now most of you watching this video would have seen some new customization option that's available in certain vehicles. There are at least three that Playground Games themselves have showcased. One is, of course, the HKS Wide Body Kit for the brand new 2020 Toyota Supra. Then we have TJ Hunt's Corvette C8, along with perhaps the biggest surprise out of the lot, which is Duke Dynamics wide body kit for the 2018 Porsche GT2 RS. Now, having played a preview version for Horizon 5 this past week, I managed to see some of the new body kits for myself that I would like to share with all of you, along with new individual customizations that perhaps no one has talked about. So, if you want to keep up to date with anything Horizon 5 related from here onwards, please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my videos. And today, we're going to be looking at 8 new customization body kits available for Forza Horizon 5. Starting off with number 1, the BMW M3 E46 Street Fighter. So here is one of the new body kits available for the BMW E46. It's from Street Fighter LA. Now compared to the standard body, it's not that big of a difference considering that it is a wide body kit conversion, but some changes include more aggressive wheel arches, both at the front and rear, an additional front lip, and also a nice subtle spoiler on the boot. Overall, it's a very stealthy wide body conversion compared to some of the other new customization options that's available in Horizon 5, but nonetheless, a welcome addition to the body kit catalog for the E46 M3. Number two, SS Works. All right, here is a massive one that certainly came as a surprise to me. Now changing from the Street Fighter LA kit that I just showcased. Now right now, I already had installed larger rims, equipped racing suspensions, just so that the car would look much better with these body kits installed. And look at this, ladies and gentlemen, such an incredible looking wide body kit conversion. Now, if you were to dissect the body kit itself, take out all the canards, lips, and that massive rear wing, it's actually quite similar to the Street Fighter LA body kit. The wheel arches have been flared again, but instead of looking like they were bolted onto the car with the SS Works kit, it completely looks like it was molded with the car itself. And then of course, the most eye-catching parts about the kit, the multiple canards shaped in a very unique manner, almost as if it wants to produce so much downforce that it'll dig itself into the ground, much like the Forza Horizon 4 top speed glitch. And of course, we can't ignore the huge wing at the rear. Overall, I love this body kit. It looks out of this world and there's no way a car like this would be legal out on the public roads, at least in Australia. But because of Horizon 5, now I know another amazing body kit conversion that's available for this E46 M3 and also the brand SS Works as well. Number three, the BMW M4. So in previous Horizon titles, I believe from 3 onwards, the M4 has had the Liberty Walk body kit conversion available. And in Horizon 5, don't worry, it is still there. But of course, I think with that kit being present, there wasn't any other customization options other than the standard Forza front bumper and rear wing, which to be honest, looks pretty bad, especially that rear wing but it seems as though Playground Games have added more individual customization options for the M4, all completely brand new to the franchise. There are actually two new brands for the car, and the first one I'm going to show is from, once again, Street Fighter LA. These customization add-ons are available as individual body parts. As you can see, they mainly consist of some carbon fiber lips laced around the bottom of the entire car with a nice small duck style wing. What I love about this new customization is that it's a realistic one that M4 owners in real life may actually have and it's good to have a balance in the customization options between something wild and something neat. Number 4, AC Schnitzer. 
So this is the other new customization option that's available for the BMW M4. Had no idea about this brand before, but looking at the body parts, again, much like Street Fighter LA, they seem to be, again, very realistic customizations. So with the modifications here, there is a front bumper add-on. The lip is more subtle than the Street Fighter LA version, and it actually splits into both ends. The rear wing and rear bumper almost makes it look like an M4 GTS, which is also in the game, by the way, for those who did not know. No side skirt options, and that is pretty much it. Hopefully, there will be more customizations available for European cars in general in Horizon 5. I didn't get a chance to check out most of them, but fingers crossed, as just seeing a couple of these customization options available for the M4 makes me very excited. Number five, the Toyota Supra Mark IV. Again, this was a huge shock to me, but most certainly a welcomed one. And honestly, I didn't know what to think about this kit when I first saw it. Now, just a quick disclaimer, none of these body kit conversions that I'm showing you in this video, the cars didn't appear as an upgrade hero for some strange reason. We had to find out these customization options for ourselves. Hopefully that will change when the final game launches. But yeah, when I first applied the KRC Japan kit with the the standard wheels, the stock spoiler, and its current ride height, I was like, this looks horrendous. But then I proceeded to add the huge Terminator-like rear wing and change to some bigger and appropriate wheels. Then I was like, okay, this looks absolutely incredible. It's so Japanese and I absolutely love it. I'm glad Playground Games have brought in new brands like KRC and have included more proper wide body conversions into Horizon 5 and on top of that to some of our favorite cars in the game too. Number six, the Mazda RX-7 KRC. So with Rocket Bunny missing, at least in the preview build for Horizon 5 that I played, at least there were some great substitutes which may even be better than what Rocket Bunny had to offer. So the first one that we see here is by KRC Japan again, and these customizations are truly out of, well, at least in my world, of car customizations that I'm used to seeing. Like to me, this is in a sense foreign, which is very cool because it makes me feel like a kid again discovering new things about cars in video games. But what I love aesthetically about this particular customization conversion is certain body parts have been removed. And yes, I know we have seen that back in Horizon 4 with a couple of vehicles here and there, but I don't know, this KRC kit looks to be more aggressive with the removal of bodywork while including additional parts that make you go nuts over the car. In my opinion, I think this is the perfect drift car body kit. It's got that raw, unrefined look that many drift cars have, and I will not be surprised to see most RX-7s I encounter in Horizon 5 with this KRC Japan kit equipped. Number seven, TCP Magic. Here is another proper body kit directly from Japan, and again, is for the same Mazda RX-7. And I think this one is even more crazier than the one that I just showcased. But here is a thought, and I'm thinking out loud right now, with all these real Japanese brands like KRC, TCP, and even HKS, what does the future hold in the Horizon series? I don't know, but let's just enjoy Horizon 5 when it releases for many years to come, but just something to keep in mind in the back of your head. All right, so this TCP wide body kit conversion has a lot of canards at the front, and even some have been placed vertically just behind the front wheels. It's also actually got that old school wide body kit addition at the front, similar to many JGTC cars we have seen back during the mid 90s. Of course, there's also some big wheel arches along with another massive rear wing, which at this point, I guess is a must. Now, for those who know about Initial D, with this yellow paint job, it's like Keisuke Takahashi's RX-7, but on steroids. Out of the two RX-7 body kits and even the Rocket Bunny ones that were available back in Horizon 4, which one is your favorite? And lastly, number eight, a new Forza wing. 
So one of the biggest complaints about the aero customizations in the Horizon franchise is the Forza Wing. There were a few reasons for this, but the main ones were aesthetics, it looks terrible on most cars, and two, usually they were the only ones that have adjustable downforce, which if we wanted to be competitive in any races, we had no choice but to equip this. Now with Horizon 5, at least there are multiple rear wings now that have adjustable downforce, and in fact, the game will also tell you when you are installing the rear wing, which ones do have adjustable downforce, so there's actually no more guesswork, which is great. And two, there's actually another rear wing option that seems to be available on many cars with adjustable downforce, and that is the Big Country Labs wing. So this is how it looks like, it's huge and serves the same purpose as the Forza wing, but at least we have another option available. Now bear in mind, as I said before, it's not available in all cars, unlike the Forza wing, but from the cars I managed to choose, majority of them did have this rear wing available. Now to me, it does look a little bit too big, like unless if it had a proper body kit or wide body kit conversion, it would look like a suitable addition to the car, but without any other aesthetic options being installed, having just that massive rear wing does look a little weird, but I don't know, what do you guys really think? So there we have it guys, eight new customization body kits that are available in Forza Horizon 5 for you guys to try. If you guys did find this video helpful or enjoyed it, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button as it really does help me out. And lastly, if you guys would like to stay up to date with everything Forza Horizon 5, including some more gameplay which will be coming this week, make sure to click the subscribe button with notifications turned on, that way you won't ever miss out on another video that goes live, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.